All right, let's talk about Zach Wilson and the Jets. The narrative, uh, I actually missed this game live. I, I watched it uh, the morning after, Tuesday morning. And the narrative I saw was, wow, Zach Wilson, he really stinks. I mean, this team is good, but Zach Wilson, he's the issue. And there's some of that. There is. Definitely, Zach Wilson did not play a perfect game. There's no denying that. But I got to be honest, there was a lot of issues with this Jets offense. I mean, this is a defense that had been, you know, giving up points against everybody. And they, come, you know, come in and look like the 85 Bears against you. What went wrong? Well, first, let's start off with a play like this. So it's going to be uh, what's essentially going to turn into a one-on-one matchup on the outside. It's it's quarters coverage, but with Garrett Wilson running a deep route, third down and 12. I mean, this is the kind of thing where in these situations, if you're Zach Wilson, you know, throw the ball in that direction, right? Pretty simple. Wilson takes the snap and, you know, uh, the safety doesn't fully go over towards the sidelines. So for Zach Wilson, he's trying to get the ball to Garrett Wilson. Now, is Garrett Wilson open on this play? No, there, there's not a lot of separation. But you know what? I still want to see Zach Wilson put the ball in this area. That's what I want to see. Give Garrett Wilson a chance. And as you see, this was an, uh, an okay throw, right? I mean, he I would say he gave Garrett Wilson a chance there. Maybe could have given him more of a chance by getting it further away from the sideline, closer towards the middle of the field, give Garrett Wilson a little bit more room to make a play. Uh, but, you know, again, this is kind of one of those situations where it's like, you just have to hit on these. You do. And it's kind of one of those scenarios where if you had an okay quarterback, I don't know if they're converting on this. But if you had Aaron Rodgers, you probably are. And that's maybe the the thing. Again, prime Aaron Rodgers. Who knows that, you know, once he comes back, who knows how he will end up doing just in terms of, you know, uh, not playing 100% and everything. But, uh, you know, that's kind of how I viewed a lot of these plays where, like, you're kind of expecting a lot from Zach Wilson that he just wasn't able to give you. It's like this one, it's a third down and eight situation. It's going to be man coverage across the board. And this is something that's kind of been a killer for the Jets for a while is, you know, man coverage. They really haven't had receivers be able to get open consistently. So look at those two players right there. Uh, they're going to run a stunt, meaning that you have your interior defensive lineman kind of run further towards the, you know, guards right side of, uh, or I guess, you know, guards left. So you're going to run further towards the bottom of the screen, get the edge rusher, hopefully to have a straight shot towards Zach Wilson. That's what you're going to try and do here. Watch as Zach Wilson takes the snap. There is immediate pressure in his face. And on top of that, his first read, I wouldn't say isn't open, but isn't going to get you a first down. I mean, again, maybe the ideal scenario. In fact, the ideal scenario would be to get rid of this football quickly, try to gain some yards, you know, set up a potential field goal, set up a, you know, potential go for it situation. You don't want to take the snap here, but it's also one of those things where it's like, man, you're really, you're putting him in tough situations here. We know what Zach Wilson is. We know Zach Wilson, Wilson isn't a great quarterback. He can't be in these situations. He's not going to succeed there. As you see, he does, in fact, get sacked on the play, which that's not good because then it sets up a fourth and a million scenario. Can't go for it. Can't uh, kick the field goal when you had both of those as options late in the third down two scores. Uh, yes, if he got rid of football quickly, maybe they make it a one-score game. But if a receiver got open you know, in a way that they could have gotten the first down or if the offensive line blocked a little better, picked up that stunt a little better, they never have those issues to begin with. So to say it isn't Zach Wilson's fault at all is probably unfair. But uh, to say that it's only Zach Wilson's fault is also unfair. Granted, going over here, there were plays that were just Zach Wilson's fault. I mean, this one early on in the game, uh, cover two zone. You're going to you know, hopefully flip it to the tight end underneath the coverage. Second down and six, you're hopefully going to get the first down, but at the very least get close to the first down if this is complete. Like, watch as Wilson takes the snap. He looks over in that direction, fires in that direction. There, there's a window. And to be honest, I think with a, just a good throw, you're getting the first down here. I think that's what you're looking towards. And as you see, it's going to be just over his head, falls incomplete there. So, you know, that's just a missed throw. There's no getting around it. And this is something that's plagued Zach Wilson's entire career, right? Is he will be prone to some of these just, you know, ones where he... Uh, you know, he loses it, right? He'll just, he'll make these throws where he'll just whiff on them. And that's what happened on that play. Granted, there are also moments like this on tape. Like this is something that's, I think, worth talking about. Because again, I think some people feel like, hey, we get Aaron Rodgers back. Uh, everything's going to be great. I still don't know if that's the case. Like first, let's look at that Chargers player right there. The one I've circled. 
watch how he's going to rush the passer and, you know, almost by design is unblocked on this play, which is a bit of a curious, uh, I'm not sure exactly how this was supposed to work. Uh, he had a tight end block him for a little bit, but then goes outside. But I don't suppose that that block just pushed the defender closer towards where Wilson was going. So not well executed there. Wilson's in trouble. However, watch Wilson sort of sidestep him, somehow gets around, and he is going to make this throw. You have an open receiver who can hopefully pick up a first down here on second down and five. However, this throw was a bit too close to the inside, and CJ uh, Uzuma is not able to make the play and you know, make something happen. So, uh, you know, I don't know if you say that it's just a straight up drop, but it's close to a straight up drop right there, and Zach Wilson actively made a good play. So, like, Yes, it's absolutely true. Zach Wilson, I mean, he's not the guy. We know he's not the guy. That's that's not what I'm doing in this video. All I'm trying to do is say, I think sometimes when you have a bad quarterback on a bad offense, people like to say the only reason the offense sucks is the quarterback. My point is that if you're only scoring six points in a game, it's usually not just one player's fault, right? Usually there are several players that deserve blame. And in my opinion, uh, that's what's happening uh, here. Now, going over here, there were moments. There were moments. There's flashes. And, and maybe this was just one of those weird matchups where, I don't know, maybe the Chargers happened to match up well against the Jets for whatever reason. But like, you see this one-on-one -on -one matchup, uh, you know, going to be just a quick curl route, hopefully getting the first down on a third down and four. That's what you want to see have happen here. This is going to be Xavier Gibson uh, who's going to be running the route. Watch as Zach Wilson takes the snap. He looks over in that direction, fires in that direction, and look at how open this is. These are the kind of things you want to see, right? And if, when you have a backup quarterback in, hopefully you can get these situations to where your backup quarterback doesn't have to make spectacular plays and can just make easy plays. Again, much easier said than none. I don't know how many teams can consistently get these types of plays, but it's still nice to see some of them. Because as you see, Wilson does make the throw and they're able to pick up a first down there. Like, listen... The reality is this was a, you know, it was not a great game by the Jets. And I'm not going to sit here and say it was a, you know, Zach Wilson was not the issue at all. No, he was a part of the problem, but he was not the entire problem. There were other issues here with this Jets offense. They still have offensive line issues and they still have receiving issues. They do. And so when you add on Zach Wilson being your quarterback, it's not going to look good. But even if Aaron Rodgers is here, okay, he's going to do a lot. He's going to help a lot. But, uh, you know, is he going to turn this into a top five offense? I don't think so. I, I just don't think so. At least not if they play like they did against the Chargers. Maybe if they can take a step forward, okay, we'll see. But, you know, as of right now, uh, there, it was just kind of a mess for the Jets here in this one. So that's what I think about all of this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on Zach Wilson and the Jets' offensive performance? Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.